let's have a look at the next exercise, which is this one here. Bring it up. It's going to be um, download these two files, open them up, edit them, do some things, some bits and pieces. So you'll need to download this file. And then when you download it, what will happen is it will download as a zip file. So you'll have to open it up and then you'll need to sort of select these two and then tap on the extract button and save them where you're going to do your work. Now I've already done that. So I've got them inside uh, here. You can see I've got newspaper and I've got response. So newspaper's got a form inside it. And when you click on a button, response is the page that's going to run. Let's have a look at what newspaper looks like. So a newspaper's got some text in it. It says how much does it cost and what the idea here is. You're going to select a newspaper and it's going to tell you how much it costs. Now this is an example of a different kind of form element that we haven't used before. It's called a drop down box. And at the moment it's just got one item inside it, which says the Guardian. Let's have a look at the code for this then. So um, here it is. Let's just work our way through. So this is a mixture. It's got PHP and it's got HTML code inside it. So it ends in .php. Now I've got two arrays. I've got um, one which contains the names of some newspapers and how much they cost. And then I come down and immediately I'm into this HTML. Now this is all HTML here. And so this is the bit that's a bit different. This is the bit that creates the drop down box. So you can see we've got a form and it's pointing at the response page, which is going to use post. And then down here is this bit. This is the new bit. This is how we do a drop down box. So we go, um, it's called a select tag, select, and then we supply a name for the drop down box. And then in there we have these option tags. And what we do is we have one option tag for every item that will appear in the drop down box. So let's just copy and paste something into here like this. So I've just got the same three values. If I save that and then bring it back up in the browser, hopefully you can see, there we go. That's how it works. So every line in the drop down box is created from a line in this select statement. Now what we of course want to do is we want to print these values into here. And um, I mean, I could just write those into here uh, sort of manually and copy and paste things. But a much nicer way of doing this would be to use some PHP to use a loop. So it doesn't matter how many newspapers we have up here, it actually prints the correct number of these uh, in that gap. And in case this is another example of, you know, if you find yourself doing something over and over again, don't do it over and over again, write some PHP and use a loop. So I am going to uh, put some PHP here. Oops, PHP. And what we want to do is we want to repeat this line over and over again. So I'm just going to take that out of there. I'm just going to pop it in here for, for a bit. So uh, what we really want to do is we want to do something like this. We want to go kind of print um, and print that out. Now, uh, we know that this needs to be in a kind of loop. What we want to do is we want to print out into that gap these values using this newspaper names array. So we need a loop. So we go four and uh, this time I'm going to make I'm going to use um, this use P no reason at all so P is going to be a counter it starts from zero and we go while P is less than we count the number of items in the array and the array is newspaper names and then the third thing we do is we just go uh, P plus plus no real surprises there We're just using a loop in exactly the same way that we always use a loop. Now we need to uh, 
think about what we're going to do to line 22. So we need line 22 to be printed over and over again. It's going to be inside that loop. We want the newspaper names to be printed in that gap. Well, uh, we want that to be in here and we're going to use P as the counter that's printed at that point. Now that's a mixture of HTML and PHP and it won't print correctly. So what we need to do is we need to put some quotes and we need to put some dots in here to make it work. So this is going to be, uh, we have to sort of add that onto a string like that and we want this to be something like this. Now, that's what we've done in the past, but there's a slight problem here. And you can see there's a slight problem. I won't hover over it yet because I don't want to give the game away. But you can see there's a sort of red exclamation mark over there indicating I've got an error. Now this comes from the fact that if you look here, you can see I've got double quotes inside the HTML. That's called an attribute in HTML. So the problem is if I just use quotes on the outside here like this, the engine, the PHP engine, is going to get confused because this sort of marks the start of the string and this marks the end of the string. But then as it sort of progresses along, it gets confused by these quotes here. So often, if you want to print HTML from PHP, to stop that confusion, to stop that uh, duplication, what you do is you use uh, single quotes instead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this into something that just uses single quotes. So I'll keep the double quotes inside because obviously that's part of the HTML. But I'm going to put single quotes around the outside like that. There we go. And now hopefully the error message has gone away. Well let's try that out and see what it does. Now I can get rid of this line now. Don't need that. So here's my select HTML and in the middle of that I'm going to do some PHP that's going to print those values into that gap. So let's try it out. Back to here. Let's click refresh and there we are. Guardian time sun mirror. You can see it's printing all of those values into there and creating our drop down list for us. Now there is one other thing that we need here when we actually use the form, when we actually tap on here, what will be passed through to the response page will be a value that comes from within the HTML. And it's given by this attribute here. Now currently in here, if I tap on view page source, you can see that we've got option value zero, option value zero, option value zero, all the way along. Well, what we actually want is we want to have uh, we want to have an indication of which one the person has tapped on. Well, why not use P? We can use P here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, instead of printing zero into that gap, I'm just going to print the value of P like that. So now if we go back to this page and we click refresh, times sun but if I look at the view the if I tap on view page source you can see the values zero for the guardian one for the times all the way along which is really neat now what's particularly nice about this of course is the whole point here is that if I added on another five uh, newspapers here that would automatically add the um, option HTML and we would actually automatically get the, the, those names appearing in the drop down list, which is nice. So that's the form. Let's have a look at the response page. So, this is what we've got. Now, a lot of the work has been done for us already. So, um, we're going to grab the value of the newspaper that's going to come through. So, let's have a look go back here. You can see we've got. Um, the drop-down box 
is called newspaper. So it's going to have a value, newspaper, it's going to contain that value. And what that value will be, will be the number of the item that's been selected. And we're numbering those from zero. So uh, you are to see the price of blah, 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 it costs, it costs, etc. So now, newspaper will have the value of sort of zero, one, two, three, four, five, etc. And as it happens, that is, of course, the index value of the item that's been selected. So if, if one comes through, that means we know they tapped on the times. If zero comes through, we know they tapped on the guardian. If two comes through, zero, one, two, we know they picked the sum. So uh, let's do that. Just to prove that, let's go PHP. And let's go print, just to prove the point, let's go print newspaper. There we go. I'll put that in a paragraph just so that you can see what it looks like. And close a paragraph here. Save. Let's run it. So I'm just going to print the value out so you can see. So let's pick the times. You can see the one comes out. They pick the item, the second item on. In other words, the item that's in box one. Let's pick guardian, item zero. Let's pick mirror, item three. So we can use that. We can use this with these arrays that already exist, just to print these values out. So, let's get rid of that. What we want to do is we want to put a print statement here. Might as well reuse a bit of this. So, uh, copy paste. You are to see the price of, and what we want to do at that point is we want to print the name of the newspaper. Now the name of the newspaper is going to be this thing. So I just pop that in there, like that. And of course this is an array, so what we have to do is inside square brackets we have to supply the index which tells us which cell to print out. Well we know what that is, it's going to be newspaper, because that's the value that's come through from the form. So I just go newspaper in that gap, like that. So I'll say that. So newspaper names is the array. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this value newspaper to work out which one to print. Let's try it. Oh, let's go back. Let's pick one. I'm going to say the times. You are to see the price of the times. Good so far. Let's try a different one. The sun. You are to see the price of the sun. Just like that. Similarly then, we can uh, just do this. And again, I'll copy and paste. Why not? Pop that in there. And we want to print its uh, newspaper price. So I'm just going to copy that. And we want to print newspaper price. So it's going to be uh, the array which contains these numbers and we're just going to print them out using the newspaper as the index. Back to here, pick an item, click continue. You also see the price of the times, it costs a pound. The sun, it costs 50p, just like that. Here we are. So, Newspaper is going to contain the value that comes through from the form and that value comes through from the value that we pass through in that option tag and we use that to print out a value from the array.